All right. Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, um, wanted to do a video on how to edit in Sony Vegas. So, and um, focusing on Sony Vegas Pro 18. So, I just wanted to make like a a small like video. I didn't want to do something like super advanced um, because if you know my videos, my video style, I really focus on like. I don't know, just kind of kind of things that I wish I knew when I first started using like Sony Vegas. So now that we have um, Vegas up right now, I just want to go over like kind of like some small tips, be able to like edit faster. So these are like going to be some great like tips. So one 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 tip is uh, like keyboard shortcuts. So like let's say you're editing certain parts of your video, uh, understand like like the split and that keyboard shortcut you're gonna use a lot which is S so S and control Z so S is where you can split here you can split here and then you can select this and delete it but there you go uh, it's nice to have so it's right here to the right it's called auto hold on, auto ripple so what this does is like let's say you're trying to clean up like all these small parts so like let's say i'm talking and then i make a break and start talking about something else so like you know example like these types of videos and you want to shoot a video like this or it could be even gaming videos where there's long pauses and you want to go to the part where there's like more exciting things um this is going to help be able to instead of going like this well, if you didn't have it enabled, instead of going like this, deleting this, then deleting this, then grabbing this, sliding this, oh wait, that is also there. So instead of doing all that work, you could just click this, enable auto ripple. So then instead you can just, you know, have both of these selected by holding shift. So if you hold shift or control, um, it'll be able to select multiple things. So we selected these two tracks here and all we have to do is is hit delete. Now what happened is that it has um, speed up the process. You don't have to click that, delete that, delete that, then drag everything back down. Um, that is gonna be auto. So if you have that on, you can turn it on. I turn it off sometimes when I'm making like very specific adjustments. So I only turn it on when I'm doing like a mass cleanup and then I turn it off to do like my normal edits. So that is that. So when I first started is um, you can zoom out of the track with the, the bar. As you can see, I'm zooming in and zooming out. Or if you have a mouse or a trackpad, you can just uh, zoom in on your trackpad and zoom out on your trackpad. I use a mouse so it's a lot easier to move around on the timeline and zoom in, zoom out, make clicks. So that's just a small thing. I didn't know that you have to kind of go like this. Didn't know, but one beginner tip is when you go to render a video, um, it's best, so it's hard to see like my entire track. So when you pull everything up, this was a big video, so that's why like my computers like having a hard time so when i when i first started um i made a couple videos and i rendered incorrectly so how you know you're correctly like rendering your whole video is kind of selecting everything like this i do a quick select so i can see that um so what this is called it's kind of called like the loop region so um, you'll see that term come up when you click over here to render as So you click on this render as and then it's gonna be like hey, dude What do you want to put this at? So I'm gonna put it at 25 frames 1080p Because my video was filmed on 24 So it's around 24 25 frames per second So that's why I'm, I'm putting it at internet HD because I'm gonna put it on the internet and I'm gonna put it at 25. So then right here, if you go to render options, this is where you'll be able to um, select render loop region only. That way it doesn't, 
somehow render something out of that. So make sure you have this selected when you're first doing like a render and have this um, saved. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna hit cancel on that. Another thing, I'm just gonna kind of talk about it, <clears throat> which is let's say you um, accidentally delete your window preview. Someone in the comments in one of my videos was like, oh no, I deleted my window preview. I don't know how to get it back. So um, that's actually just over here. So let's say you accidentally deleted it because you're trying to move it to another screen. So go to view and then you go to window and then window preview and then boom, it's gonna come back. Or the shortcut is Alt-4. Yeah, Alt-4, not Alt-F4. So remember that. So you can exit out of it and boom, quick boom, it's back there. So that's what's nice about knowing these shortcuts is that you can do things quicker. So these are all like the Windows things that you can uh, take out. Uh, a lot of the ones that I, I don't really use transitions a lot because I usually just stick with the d dissolve where you know you can merge it and then kind of blend it in um, kind of hard to explain but when you see it kind of goes like it like fades in see like that kind of does like a little fade I'm okay with that and I try not to get too carried away with all the transitions because I don't want to distract um, the person watching the video too much and another thing that I wish I knew was understanding kind of like how to do camera zooms and stuff like that so this one's more of like I would say semi advanced in my opinion so I'm like I suck at like video editing but this is like my take on my advanced level of doing camera zooms so so this is me making like a an S tier. My stuff is off. Okay, this this looks better now. So I think it was just slightly off for some reason. So um, let me bring it down so we could kind of look at it together. So you could see that I have like multiple layers going on. So it's like I have a layer here, layer here, a layer here another layer here so we have like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten or whatever freaking eleven like maybe even twelve i have a lot of layers and it's all doing this so let's go watch it and then i'm gonna go kind of explain what i did so it's s tier a tier listing then i think it goes red bean then i think it goes taro and then coffee. So that chocolate. is chocolate goes after that. Matcha. Ma matcha pro probably matcha. Then like if if I'm doing like a tier like a tier system, yeah, that would be the tier. Okay, so um, I'm not sure if you could tell the work that went into that like small 10 second bit, but the reason why it's a little bit complicated is because you have to create uh, keyframes so these keyframes what they're doing is that it's it's taking like whatever pn png file that you put in and then it's zooming in zooming out then moving it here at this time so we can do an example or like kind of just take a look so uh let's look at the basic video where I'm making it smaller and then moving it to the right and then you can kind of see the timestamps of like what I did. Alright, so then I think it's in this timestamp. Yeah, so right here. So if we look right here, um, I put a keyframe at 3 seconds where in 3 seconds it's going to become this big. So. Um, what you do is you put your keyframe, you select, create a keyframe, you select it there. So in this three second clip that's been cut. All right, so um, once you select your file, uh, to do a simple zoom, you just put the keyframe at the end where you want it and like how big and the position of where um, you want 
like kind of like your footage so the thing is that you can in, you can really mess things up um, if you accidentally hit a keyframe here and then instead you can see in the background that it's doing things so let's say I made this super zoomed in um, now we can kind of watch it in the timeline so right here so if I hit play you can see that it's doing a crazy zoom in zoom out and then um, so you can, you know, your imagination um, can is like kind of endless, like with what you can do. So that's what I really enjoy with like Vegas is that, you know, it allows for a lot of creativity. And so that's what I really do enjoy um, about doing with this program is, you know, the editing aspect of it. So um, that's how you do like Zoom. So you just, I don't even know what you call it. You it's just called it's just this box right here event pan crop also one thing I I've always ran into um, by accident is where I accidentally click on mask and I didn't know what was going on and I couldn't change my aspect ratio um, just click on position and then unclick mask and then click back on position I know it's really weird but um, it disappears when you click on masking and the thing is that um, masking is kind of used for um, the editing purpose so let's say you want a certain area of your video um, you can do mask to kind of take away like take out like a certain spot you can put a circle you can take out that spot or and then you can start doing like a layering so try to think of like Photoshop but you know in an editing video program that is like what masking is used there's probably other terms in other programs um, but that's essentially what masking in my opinion what I've used it for so and we kind of do an example so let's see what this would look like so I just did a mask layer so that means I only selected this tiny circle so the thing is that and then you could even change it where it inverts it and then there's even more settings where you can even have it feathered out so uh, masking is kind of complicated so you definitely got to play with you got to play around with how to do it so let's look at some effects that I like to use Let's go to the beginning where it doesn't look as crazy. So, I don't use a lot of effects. Really the only two effects that I use is I like to sharpen my footage a little bit. So I'll add the basic Sony Vegas sharpen um, effect. And then I'll also do the levels um, that way. What this is doing is that it's kind of doing like a color correct so then it makes my footage not look stupid so those are kind of like the only two effects that i use i don't use a lot of heavy effects in my videos so those are the two now i'm checking my notes if i missed anything but yeah i mean i think for now um i just wanted to do like a quick video on like some basic like video edits that you can do in uh, sony vegas pro 18 and I hope you find this video helpful at all and definitely let me know in the comments below of you know maybe video suggestions this video was actually suggested by someone on YouTube I'm definitely gonna you know show their like face right here um, they keep changing their name so maybe it's a, maybe their channel is not gonna show up anymore but you know they're trying to find out their YouTube life so you know hit them up maybe check them out I think they're doing like channel music videos i don't know anyways uh let me know down below any ideas of like tutorials i can uh put up on youtube like comment subscribe for future videos and i'll see you guys next time peace